Uh, what's up? This is Cody Hansen from Hinder, um, and this is my uh, my Pearl Masters uh, drum kit. It's uh, custom painted um, by a guy named uh, Emilio Iglesias. Here, I'll just move this bag here so you can see some of the some of the artwork. It was kind of themed after our um, our fourth album, uh, Welcome to the Freak Show. So it kind of has that uh circusy freak show kind of theme um all over the kit i got this kit right uh, as we were finishing um the fourth album the welcome to the freak show album um and that's that's when i i had it actually shipped straight to emilio to have him um start painting and uh it probably took him i want to say about two and a half weeks to finish it um and then he shipped it right out and uh we, we got it ready and, and went out on the road with it. And I've, I've had this kit um, since then. I just, I don't know, I, 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 love, I love the color. I'm, the green's my favorite color. And so I haven't, I haven't been able to, to part ways with it and get a new one yet. But um, I guess at some point I'll probably have to do that. To be really honest, I, I, had, a, uh, I had a reference kit uh, before this one. Um, and I really love the tone of, of, of that kit. Um, you know, because you're you're able to kind of like customize each drum individually, um, but this one, you know, I figured, you know, we'd we'd kind of just keep it simple, and uh, you know, just went with with all maple shells on this one. Just wanted to try something new. Um, you know, these are a little more a uh, little more bright. They have a little more attack. Um, so, you know, like I said, I'm I'm really digging this kit right now, and I'm like I said, I'm having a hard time parting ways with it. But at some point, I'm gonna have to. To get a new one. Yeah, so for my toms, um, I'm using a 13 inch rack tom, uh, 24 inch kick drum, 16 inch uh, floor tom here. Um, we're always kind of rotating different heads, trying to just get the exact right tone. So um, right now we've got the EC2s on the on the 13 here. Um, we've got the uh, the level 360s um, on the on the floor tom, and now we're just just using the standard one ply resonance uh, on the bottoms, the EC ones. And then um, here for my for my snare drum, this is probably my favorite drum I've ever ever come into contact with. Um, it's the the brass reference series snare drum. Um, right now I'm using the the hybrid head. It's the Kevlar head. Um, I I hit really hard when I play, so I go through heads quite a bit. And and having these on there. It, you know, I can put one on before a tour and, and we don't have to change it again. So, um, and it, it, it kind of has a, a really cool rebound to it. Um, you know, I, there, we have some parts in the songs that are um, kind of like a little marching type of beat. Um, and so it, it's, like I said, the, the rebound is, is really cool for, for that kind of thing. Um, and I do a, a lot of ghost notes and things like that. Um, and those, it, that kind of helps it come through the mix a little bit. So um, that's pretty cool. The, the brass, it just, for, for whatever reason, it's, it's like the loudest snare drum I've, I've ever come into contact with. Um, and this thing weighs, I don't know what the exact weight is, but when you pick it up, it feels like it weighs about 40 pounds. It's super heavy. Um, but yeah, it's just, it, it, actually this drum, we did a, a blind test in the studio on our first, or no, our second album. And we had a, a rack of snare drums. Um, I mean, we had Black Beauties, we had uh, the the Tama Bell Brass, we had them all, like all the the big staple snares um, in the studio. And we pulled out this one, and and this this one won in the blind test against every other snare out there. So um, I, I love it. And then for for my backup, I don't know where it is, but I have the same. Uh, reference snare but in, in a steel so and it's it's pretty amazing as well so uh, Pearl's really really mastered their snare drum game I would say so for I'm just doing a, a single pedal um, you know we don't really for, for our music we don't really require anything more than that it's just the eliminator um, for for whatever reason I, I stuck the, the demon drive uh, beater on it I don't know why I did that but I'm kind of digging it for whatever reason um, so yeah, that's that's pretty pretty much it for pedals. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, for cymbals, I'm doing uh, Sabian. I've got my little splash here, just for little little accents. Um, mostly, I'm doing uh, 20 inch cymbals. I find that they um, they don't break quite as easy. Um, I 
still break them quite often as this one has a, a little crack in it here. <laughs> um, but i um, doing Paragon uh, over here. Um, over here I'm doing, what is this one? It's all worn off. I don't even remember what this one is here. Uh, pretty sure this one's an AA. Um, and then over here, right now I've got the, the AAX. Um, as you can see, it's a little wobbly. <laughs> so uh, that one may be a little thin for me, but um, it's, it's bright, it sounds really, really great. Um, here I'm doing a 22 inch uh, AAX ride. Um, got my little, my little custom guy here um, by, uh, from Silver Luthier. Um, thought that was kind of a cool little touch. Um, over here, I'm using a 19 inch Paragon. And then over here, just a, a China for those, those metal moments. So not that we have a lot, but there are a couple. So, Thrones just, uh, that's just a standard pearl throne, but I like how it's got the little, little concave part, some ventilation. Uh, and for sticks, I'm using uh, Vader 1As. Uh, they're a little, uh, they're a little longer than most sticks and, and front weighted, so uh, you know it helps it helps me with with control doing you know different rudiments and things. So um, I like these, so that's what I'm going with. So uh, this is like my computer setup. Basically, this kind of runs runs the show. Um, on this run, we decided to to pre-program all of our our light show and stuff, and so. Um, you know, we, we run it through here. Um, here's the, the set list over here. Whenever you want a song, start a song, you just kind of click a button, click track goes off, and you know, the, the show starts. Um, um, yeah, and that's, that's pretty, this thing's kind of cool. We, we, we run a program called Venue Magic. Um, you know, we have some keyboard parts, some, some string parts, things that we can't do um, on stage. So, um, you know, we'll run that in there as well. Um, so yeah, and then if, for, if, if something goes wrong, um, which unfortunately happens more than I'd like, uh, we have a, a backup unit here called a, an R44 made by Roland. Um, and uh, you know, it's, it's a, a solid state unit, so it's, it's pretty fail safe. You know, you just kind of skip through the songs, hit play, when you're done, hit stop. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And you can run like up to four tracks out of this thing. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, as far as the, the computer goes too, we've got uh, all the audio portion running um, down into this box here. There's a, uh, I believe it's an, an eight channel radial um, DI box. Um, so, yeah man, pretty, uh, I would say simple, but it's actually kind of complicated. <laughs> but it, it works out good for us, so yeah. Here's my in-ear pack, little Sennheisers. I think somebody thought they were funny going with Ginger Snap. I don't really know, but whatever. Uh, for for in ears, um, I've got several. Uh, I've, I've gone through several different companies. or tried several different ones. Right now, I'm on the. I'm using the UEs. Um, I guess these are UE sevens. So, yeah, man, it's uh, it's pretty cool uh, to have your your own mix and be able to isolate certain things. For me, obviously because I have to play to a click track. I, I have the, the click track pretty loud in my ears and it's, I don't know that most people could handle that, but uh, it's what you gotta do, I guess. So yeah, works out for us. Okay, yeah, come, uh, come out, see us out on the road, check out our new single, Halo. Um, we have a, a new single coming soon, not gonna tell you what it is yet, but stay tuned for that. Um, check us out on, on social media. Um, it's all Hinder Music, the website is hindermusic.com. So like I said, uh, come see us and uh, hope to see you soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm.